going for more dots now I guess against the mass sort of the really really strong heroes those dots sort of make sense but they're also taken down so quickly and they really are very very contained and it looks like a oh wow very close to level six now on that blade master and we are seeing a second beast area now so we're gonna be seeing lots and lots of raiders maybe but lots of bats as well yeah some bats as well uh, obviously very very effective against the uh um, against the chimeras, but much less effective against the dots. And uh, oh, the steam hunter running in basically on his own now, uh, or it doesn't have the keepler grove at least, and so he does have a couple chimeras. But actually, the bat rider not being used there, finally being used uh, for basically his only intended purpose. And it looks like the steam hunter managing to take down actually one raider, and he just needs to get a couple more kills. Like there's another bat rider running in, keep getting this um but chimera down to really low hit points, but being staffed away finally, really really nice. And actually, it's being staffed to do that uh, tree of eternity, which is a ways away. And it looks like actually Thomas G just managing to hold off each of these attacks but each time I, th I feel he's losing just a bit more and uh he just he just isn't doing the damage. He's managing to pick off individual units, which is really nice for him. But at the same time, he's just going to be running out of um, mines. Uh, he only has this mine left, and obviously it only has five thousand gold left. Whereas Soko basically, in his own time, can creep out these two camps and take them for his own. And these towers are really going to stop uh, Thomas G from expanding anywhere else. And look, oh, look at even though the Bat Rider taking out this tree of life slowly, but the Demon Hunter immediately runs in. And obviously, it doesn't matter if the Bat Rider takes too much damage because he can just immediately um or just as soon as he finds a chimera he can just suicide it doesn't matter if he has one hit point so 325 and it looks like actually so called go creep this out maybe we're going to be seeing some sort of expansion here by him and actually using his blade master as well even though it's denying a shadow hunter a bit of uh, experience but that's uh, certainly at the end of the world for him and um just because that shadow just getting back to attack is much more important you know all these chimeras just doing some damage and then running away but needs to be wary of that ensnare yes he is he's very very aware of it and unfortunately gets ensnared in a very bad position as well tried to move back but oh my god he's actually using his dots in bird form i'm really confused by that as to why he might be doing that because obviously the bats are actually going to wreck him if he gets caught and he does have one master bear now out but it's going to be entangled and then or i'm ensnared and then immediately picked off meanwhile the raiders being entangled and it looks like it won't be healed in time you can actually use a healing salve over a um, entangle it and that will heal it up and not get cancelled immediately but it looks like uh, Sokol has actually Sokol's actually if I think about it he's actually made very poor use of his um, voodoo lounge I guess it's because it's been such constant action but we haven't seen too much actual um, uh, use of healing salves this game and it looks like actually this blade master is just wandering around uh, looks like he's looking at the item decides all of his, his items are better and so just uh, runs away and uh, obviously decides not to try and pick off any of these units just because uh, cyclone is such a threat and uh, mana burn would be a bit annoying on a blade master with uh, over 100 mana and it looks like actually um, uh, Thomas G, he must have his Keeper of the Grove. Yeah, he does have his Keeper of the Grove out. And uh, is using a Clarity as well. He's picked up a whole bunch of items. Uh, healing Potion and uh, Invon Pop are quite nice. I'm a bit confused by the Potion of Mana. He already has a lot of mana. His problem really isn't using the mana. It's just uh, uh, being being sort of uh, safe and ha being existing long enough to use his existing mana, basically. But, oh, look at this. I'm, um, I'm surprised a bit that it's not a tiny great hall. That'd be quite nice considering Orcus at tier 3. But it's uh, not a necessity. And meanwhile, Hex going off there on that uh, Keeper of the Grove. And Tom, she has to be petrified every th time that happens. But now he does have Ferris. He can use a bit of Rejuvenate. And that actually is going to really help with his uh, Chimeras as well. Who do actually have uh, two armor or um, uh, two armor upgrades. Which is absolutely essential against those Bat Riders. Which will soon become much less useful. As uh, we see so often in Orc versus Human. And oh, what an unconventional game by both players here. I really like how Thomas G is responded to this but it looks like so-called setting up this expansion if he can get it up that'd just be so nice for him and obviously these um, chimera is completely unable to attack the fat riders because they can't attack air and it looks like a Thomas G is going to try and slowly take down these uh, units or these towers but just Thomas G take, uh, just taking such a beating here he forced to use a healing potion and an invuln pot on his keep of the grove and uh, Thomas G actually trying to take down the towers really really aggressively and actually so-called running in like one one hit point um, radar but it is immediately taken out and uh, these bears will help a bit but I, it's quite useful for him that actually the armor upgrades also apply to the bears but Thomas G must be running out of gold now yeah only 3,000 gold left in this mine and he's really gonna be massively at mine soon and I think this is why he's actually trying to break out so desperately so he knows he can't afford just to be sitting around too much and it looks like bat riders keeps on coming in and uh, Oh wow, very nice staff at the last second, just as that uh, bat rider was approaching, and it looks like he was actually just staffed to a couple feet away, but can now be rejuvenated up if more bears are produced. This bear out of mana, or at least not enough mana to use a rejuvenation, and it looks like actually 
Cyclone being used to keep that Blade Master at bay, but that Blade Master is now level 6 after getting all of those Chimera kills, which is absolutely critical to this. And it looks like we are not seeing too much more being produced by Thomas G. One more bear coming out. Ooh, actually, we are seeing more Chimeras being produced. So it looks like Thomas G. very, very desperate to push out, as would be expected. And oh my god, this uh, Chimera being staffed away in anticipation, basically. And it looks like this uh, one Bat Rider actually in a bit of trouble, but it looks like he will just be able to get away. Very, very nice there for him. Although that poison will take him down to low health, so we will need to make sure he finds a, a um, chimera before the demon hunter finds him. Actually, he's being very aggressive, and it looks like he could actually uh, lose this bat rider to a demon hunter if he's not careful. Uh, but looks, ooh, actually going into bird form. This is really, really aggressive here because obviously uh, the bat riders, if or if Soko is paying attention at least, yes, there he goes there. And he does manage to take down one um, dot, but he does lose two. Uh, uh, two bat riders, but gets experience. Uh, they actually they each get experience for one unit, so it's a bit of an even trade. But at the same time, Sokol is just so much further ahead in the economy. He can afford to be losing uh, two units for every Sokol's one, and uh, or Sokol can be afford to use to lose two units for every uh, Thomas G's one. And it looks like actually this uh, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength finally being picked up by the Blade Master, who's revealing his position a bit. But I guess he's uh, pretty confident that this Blade Master is a uh, nigh unkillable at this point. And actually, it looks like we're seeing a very strong attack here. This needs to go well for Thomas G, otherwise. This game is definitely over, I think. He really needs to be able to take down these towers. Looks like this Tree of Attorney taking a lot of damage now, but it, obviously that's he, he can almost afford to sacrifice that as long as he can break out and as, as long as he can kill the expansion. Meanwhile, it looks like more Bat Riders coming in here. These um, uh, Chimera's in a lot of trouble. Uh, just going to take a whole bunch of damage. And, oh my god, the Blame Master being cycloned again. Very, very nice. Actually, this, uh, these bears doing a tremendous job for Thomas G. Really managing, or really doing a good job managing to fight his way through. And uh, this only one tower still up and another tower being built. This Blame Master is still level 6 and at full health, so he probably can do a fair bit of damage left. Maybe if he can get some good crits on. But I'm really impressed with how Thomas G handled that battle actually and it looks like actually uh, we are being, oh almost got an entangle there the blade master just using uh, wind walk in time very very nicely played there by Soko who's probably just going to try and do some more damage to this keep the grove maybe hope to get Alma to spell off on that uh on that um, rejuvenation. Oh my god, very nice entangle there. That Shadow Hunter very nearly taken out. Still not level 5. Level 5 would be so nice now on that Shadow Hunter just for all that healing. But it looks like this, t <laughs> this Tree of Attorney gonna run in here. Probably gonna, just gonna cause some havoc. Very, very nicely played here. And, and once those uh, bears get in there as well, that's really gonna cause some trouble for Sokol, who's this mine must be running low for him as well. Yeah, only a thousand gold left here. And this gold mine must be, yeah, only a thousand gold here as well. So if um, Thomas G can take that mine, then maybe this game is actually gonna go his way. And it looks like so-called basically unable to defend this because he was so reliant on those towers now that they're down now that that contain is over I think Thomas G might actually have a chance he's rebuilding lots of dots that's a really good choice considering this level 6 blade master just being able to uh, keep, keep him out of the battle and then uh, using bird form or whatever whenever there's a uh, whenever there's a blade storm and uh, just uh, trying to keep out here now what's, what's going on here this dot actually chasing away um troll bat riders maybe what he's worried about is there's just so much armor on them now i'm, I'm not exactly sure because it's such a rare thing but how many mat riders does it take you to take out one um dot if it's more than one it's clearly not worth it but when that has a uh, two armor upgrades uh i'd assume it would still take it out but maybe not maybe that two was the um breaking point that's why we never saw three armor although it's possibly just uh <laughs> just, just the getting a third is really expensive and he'd much rather get some more bears and you can see Thomas G has a lot of bears out now and that's really been working very well for him and it looks like actually these dots or these um bat orders continuing to do some harassment Thomas G accidentally running through all these towers gonna need to turn around and probably even heal up after that and it looks like yeah ooh are we gonna be seeing maybe an attack on the main now obviously all these uh, raiders are very exposed because uh, there is so little map control now for t the Soko who has actually I'll uh, set up a whole bunch of towers here. Really, really odd to see all these orc towers. Mino you know, Metamorphosis being used now by Thomas G. Going to go for the towers instead of the raiders. Finally turns around, goes for those raiders. Really important to take them out, even using Cyclone on the Blade Master. And it looks like actually, could we see an entangling off, uh, going off there? No, we aren't. And so uh, we probably, yes, there's the entangle. Oh, and Vault Pop being used by Sokol as soon as he's entangled. Very, very smart there. And all these towers do go up. I wonder if Thomas G would be better just to get out of this fight now because these dots are going to go down so quickly, these towers. And it looks like actually, one hex going off there on that Demon Hunter and that demon hunter really needs to get back and there he is there he's back in this battle he's going to be continuing to fight and so called actually being able to do a whole lot of damage with these towers really really fortunate timing of them and obviously he's totally not too able to run away now because of that and snare would leave a couple units within the range of towers this blade master getting very very low now and actually this one bat rider going to go down because there's no more chimeras Oh my god, really, really strong play here by Thomas G. And it looks like uh, Thomas G actually going to be able to take down a couple more of these towers. Not too many actual units left now for Soko, and they're all raiders, which are terrible against uh, 
uh, Barris without uh, any support and uh, oh my god this the master does go down to the entangle and the metamorphosized demon hunter what amazing amazing play oh and look there's another entangle or er, er, entangle there and it looks like actually this blade master or er, uh, the demon hunter just running out of metamorphosis but it looks like the shadow hunter might just manage to get away four hit points left two hit points left does get away, but I'm just not sure it's going to be enough at this point. So uh, Thomas G losing the last of his bears, but he has now taken this expansion, and that might well be enough just to turn the battle for him, as long as he doesn't make any stupid mistakes. I wonder, actually, if we're going to see the Blame Master being taverned back. Um, so so called with no gold, so it was not looking good at all for Soko at this point. Uh, if the Blame Master was taverned back, we could see a Keeper of the Grove kill. But that Keeper of the Grove now being level 6 and having an invul pot is really strong. I love um, Tranquility. I think it's probably... Like I almost want to say it's the best um, ultimate. There's the GG there, and a Tranqu uh, anyway, that's what I was saying. But what a tremendous, tremendous game! I do really like Tranquility though. It's really, really strong, especially if you use it out of battle, just because there's so many ways of disrupting it. But uh, it's just so, so amazingly fantastic for using out of battle, just because it costs a little mana, and it its cooldown is so short. You can go have a battle come back, immediately heal all your army up, then get straight back in and, in, and your opponent has not the time to heal. So what an amazing, amazing game from both these players. Thomas G does take the win after taking a really strong early game, but then really being forced back, losing all his map control, basically being out of minds, and he knew he couldn't, he had no gold left, he basically had to push, and he pushed, and he did just manage to get away with, uh, with uh, breaking the, the uh, mass tower wall and that was more than enough to give him the win and what a tremendous game there by both players actually I really hope you enjoyed that folks I will see you guys very soon thank you